The coastal mangrove forest is really the buffer between land and sea, playing the critical role of protecting the land and coastal communities from storms, wind, and erosion. Growing in the tidal beach zone, a 100-meter deep forest can weaken the destructive forces of a tropical storm and reduce wave height by as much as two-thirds. And with climate change, sea levels are rising and storms are becoming more intense. Our coastlines and their communities are more vulnerable than ever. As well as being nature shock absorbers, they've shaped the way people live on tropical coastlines for thousands of years providing us with many essential goods and services. Mangrove forests are rich in biodiversity and are important nursery grounds for many commercial fish species. They supply firewood, building materials, medicines, and a wide variety of foods to local people, and provide other economic opportunities, such as ecotourism initiatives. Over the last 50 years, mangroves have depleted greatly. The number one cause of destruction in Thailand, like other countries in Southeast Asia, has been shrimp aquaculture, which boomed from the mid-80s to the late 90s. At least half of the mangrove forest in Thailand have been completely lost, and a lot of what's remaining is degraded. Many shrimp farms are abandoned after just a few years. There are now successful, sustainable methods to restore abandoned ponds back into mangrove forests. Today, we're on Koh Klang. It's an island on the west coast of southern Thailand in the Krabi River estuary. It's a Ramsar site for its significant importance at a global level and is populated mostly by Muslim communities of small-scale fisher families. The low-lying island has a highest elevation of about one meter above sea level, making the 5,000 or so locals extremely vulnerable to any storm that hits the coast here, particularly in monsoon season. Also, erosion is happening very rapidly, especially on the exposed southern coastline where land is being lost up to three meters per year. Kun Nit has lived here all her life, on the southern coast of the island, and she's had to relocate her house inland five times in the last 20 years. Her interest in mangroves grew as a result, and is now an active community representative spreading the importance of mangroves. Uh, ก็กลับไปเกือบ like the rest of Thailand, Koh Klang experienced a huge loss of their mangrove forests, having been converted into shrimp farms. <laughs> มีเพื่อนอยู่คนมันมันค่ายลูกกูน้องมีเพื่อนอยู่คนมันค่ายลูกกูอ่ะมาถึงแก่ตัวมั้งแก่นู้นจะทาปลาคนเดียวกันจะ
using a method called community-based ecological mangrove restoration. This holistic approach emphasizes restoring the hydrology of the site to facilitate natural mangrove regeneration. The restored hydrology ensures that every species will grow in its correct zone, creating a more biodiverse mangrove forest and avoiding the common problems of monoculture plantations. Collaborating with communities is critical to the success of these projects. They provide physical help and local expertise and ideas. We add to their local knowledge with technical understanding and equipment. They are involved in all phases, from the planning stage through implementation to long-term monitoring and protection. This empowering process creates a sense of ownership for the long-term success of the project. Still in its early stages of restoration after three years, we are already seeing a lot of marine life come back. This has been very encouraging to people on the island. As a coastal defense, restoring mangroves is more cost-effective than building and maintaining concrete seawalls and overcomes many of the problems with artificial walls such as accelerating erosion elsewhere as waves are deflected down shore and standing seawater behind the walls when they are breached. A healthy mangrove ecosystem has hugely valuable unseen impacts. Their organic rich soils have the ability to sequester three to five times more carbon per hectare than tropical rainforests. They also protect coral reefs by trapping sediments and absorbing nutrients from the water, maintaining the health of our oceans. Here we are demonstrating the model of community-based ecological mangrove restoration at a small scale for others to follow at a larger scale. There are over 250,000 hectares of abandoned shrimp ponds across the coastlines of Southeast Asia, perhaps nearly double that around the world. Our vision is to restore these back into lush mangroves with the local people, greatly improving their lives, securing a more sustainable future, and ensuring the most effective protection from storms for generations to come.